Hey guys, it's me, and I am here to do my um, birthday haul slash fall favorites. I haven't made a favorites video in quite some time, and part of it's because I always, it's like, you know when you go on a trip, <laughs> like you fly somewhere, you drive somewhere, and then you always have this nagging suspicion that you forgot something. I have that every single time I make any type of video where I need to collect things to show you guys. So I stopped doing like favorite videos because it was just like, I, I always felt like I was forgetting something. Like I would make half the video and then I'm like, oh shucks, I forgot that, or oh man, I forgot this. So anyways, so I hopefully didn't forget anything. This is also going to be my birthday haul because some of you guys expressed interest in my what's in my bag video a few weeks ago that you would like to see a birthday haul video. So I thought I would do that. And this isn't necessarily a everything that I got for my birthday. It's just kind of a what I got in my birthday month. I don't usually... We haven't really been doing a lot of shopping for, like, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping for, um, I don't know, splurgy type things, just because we've been trying to save up for Kai's birthday and everything else going on, and with me in the emergency room so many times, we have a lot of medical bills um, that we had to take care of. So this month was kind of a surprise. I got a bunch of, um, I got gifts from people, I got extra money from going and doing this garage sale. As you guys know, I did three garage sales in a row and we got a lot of money from that and I was really proud of myself. But so most of this stuff was actually, not that I need to defend myself or tell you guys, um, but I was very happy because I was able to have a really fun birthday um, because I worked for it kind of, you know, and all that. So things that I got for my birthday, as you guys know, if you saw my video, like I just mentioned, my what's in my um, bag, video. I received the Michael Kors Gilmore bag or Gilmore satchel I should say. I don't know there's like an east to west Gilmore satchel and then there's just the medium Gilmore satchel. This is the medium Gilmore satchel. I'm not quite sure what the difference between the east to west and this bag is because I'm not huge into designer bags. Looking at all the pictures and stuff online and reviews and videos the only difference I can tell between them is that the medium Gilmore satchel has these little um, metal feet at the bottom of it with like Michael Kors engraved in which I don't understand why he needed to put his name underneath the bag but whatever. That's the only difference that I could tell was that this bag had that and the east to west did not. Um, I could be wrong but when I looked at all the pictures that's the only difference that I could see. Um, I myself prefer the little metal feet at the bottom because I don't want to get the leather messed up because I'm that type of girl who will put my purse anywhere. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. I will throw it on the ground. I will put it on the couch. I will put it on the bottom of uh, the floor of the car. I will, that's just me. So to have those metal feet to kind of protect the leather was ideal for me. Um, I'm not going to show you guys everything that's in this bag or about it because you can go look at that video that has that because I'm not going to bore you with all the details. But I really love this bag. I was very excited to get this for my birthday. And, um, yeah, that's that bag. So I got that bag for my birthday slash garage sale money. And then I also received this Hobo, um, black wallet. Um, this, again, I described this wallet in my, um, what's in my purse bag video, but there's that. Um, I like it. I went out to Chicago, uh, to visit Lisa and to meet Mrs. Princess Di and a few other girls just this past weekend. And so we went to this Asian market and so I bought these really cute chopsticks for my hair. They're like wooden and they come in this nice little like case. Um, the case is not necessary but it was just cute and it was nice because I usually have a tendency to break my chopsticks, my hair chopsticks. I twist my hair up and like that. If you watch Lisa Marie or Things This Week's videos, she does it all the time. I'm addicted to it now because of her. Um, another thing that I got for my birthday in month of October were these cute Jessica Simpson boots. I believe these are called the Kira's. I don't know how old they are. They're probably pretty old. I bought these from eBay. Um, because I have such tiny feet, I wear size 6. Um, I've been really lucky because usually the display shoes are size six. They let ten to. This is this is the shoe man, uh, shoe store manager coming out on me. But if you didn't know, they always tend to put the smallest shoe size out on display for you because it looks nicer and it's more. It takes up less room. So because of that, I can usually find like um, display shoe model boots on eBay for cheap. So I got these boots for nineteen ninety nine. Um, and then I think shipping was like 13 so I still saved quite a bit of money. Um, they were in great condition, nothing wrong with them, brand new in the box, just that one of them was used as a display. So I think they're pretty cute. I don't think I'll ever wear them with skinny jeans. I basically got them because I have some flared jeans that I like to wear boots with to kind of make me look taller. Um, and I just like the 
height of these. They're a nice, decent height because I'm a mom now. I can't be rocking the five inch heels anymore, even though I'd love to. Uh, these were a birthday present from Lisa and Bill. Um, they got me these Vibrams. They also got me a bunch of candy, but I'm not going to show you all that because I ate half of it on the plane um, and because it's in the kitchen. But they got me these Vibrams. These were on my Amazon wish list. Um, for my birthday slash Christmas coming up and I love them. If you guys know, I have a pair of blue ones upstairs that I've had for three years and even though you're supposed to be barefoot, it is good to replace them every once in a while. So my three, well, almost four year, I bought them the year John and I got married. So four year old, my four year old Vibrams were looking like a mess and they needed to be replaced. So I was really excited to get these. I wore these actually straight off, you know, out of their house onto the airport and it was great because I ended up having to run around the airport to get to my flight because my flight information was wrong. These are super comfortable, super cute, and I just, I love them. I've been a huge fan of Vibrams for the past four years and I will never go back because I love them so much. So I got those from them. Thank you so much, Lisa and Bill. These things I bought while I was out visiting Lisa and Bill, and these are definitely a fall favorite of mine. I love comfy cotton sweaters. I love them. Um, I I can't find them very easily. My chest size is like weird. It's like kind of small. But right now I'm nursing. Sorry, I just realized my nursing bra is unlatched. <laughs> Classy. I have these weird size boobs right now. I'm really on like a negative double A when I'm not nursing. So I wanted to buy some that would still look right on me after I stopped nursing. Um, and then I also have a weirdly long torso, but I'm very short. So I'm 5'3". I wear an extra small. Go ahead and hate me for saying that out loud. But, um... I can't help it, but, um, so I, I found all these at H&M. They, Chicago has a much better H&M than we do. Ours is not as big, um, so it was great to go look around, and I didn't have kids, so I could find them, like, look at stuff, like, really look at stuff, and they were having to buy one sweater or get one free. So I bought this. This is just, like, a regular maroon, um, cotton, I don't know, sweatshirt, and I wore it the other day with a tank top and skinny jeans, and then I just rolled the sleeves up, so you kind of got that, like, contrast. Um, as you'll tell by my clothing, I love grays and muted colors and fall colors. Like, I don't really, I don't do the bright and bold colors because I just, I feel uncomfortable in them for some reason. I also got this oversized gray cardigan. It's very soft. It's just a regular cardigan. And this I haven't worn yet, but it's like an oversized, like, man's sweatshirt. It's for a woman, but it's like in a man's type thing, and I just thought it looked cozy. So, I got that. And then last I got this sweatshirt, or sweater, which... It's like, I don't know if it's supposed to go off the shoulder, but that's just kind of how it falls on me. And then I rolled the sleeves and it's just a nice gray kind of like a, what's that movie? Flash dance type sweater. Um, they had it in like a light blue and I think I might go back and get it because it's only $12 and it fits me really well. So those are my fall favorites slash got them in October. These I got last month, actually. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I ordered a bunch of earrings and some birthday presents for people off of Etsy from the Hosford Wife. I think that's her name. Um, but I bought myself some earrings while I was at it. And then she also, because there was some mix up in shipping and stuff, she gave me um, a gift certificate to her store. So I went and bought, kind of went a little bit crazy, but I bought these little button earrings or little cloth button earrings. I'm really addicted to them right now because they are just cute studs, different sizes. Um, and then I got these. I, this lighting's really bad, and I'm using my iPad, so I apologize. And then I got, um, there's in my little dish from With This Dish on Etsy. Check her out. That's Carissa. She makes really cute dishes. Anyways, um, and then these, like, yellow chevrons. She sent me these for free. It was really nice of her. Um, and then these little plaid ones. That These I love for fall. I've been wearing them for, like, I don't know. I wear them all the time because that's why I like gray because you can match any accessory up with it. Um, so there are those. And then I also got this necklace from her. Um, they are, it's just like a set of keys, brass keys. I thought that was really cute and it just hangs. So um, that's, ugh, tangled. I, the birthday present I got was from my mother. I'm wearing it right now. It's by Origami Owl. Um, I don't know. Should I take it off? I'll take it off. I'm like, my nose is running. I'm sorry. It's like weird, wonky weather here. Okay, so my mom got me this locket, which I thought was so pretty. And I've wanted an origami owl locket for a while now. I'm actually going to be hosting an online party on my Facebook fan page soon and um, doing a review on my blog. So if you're interested in doing that, I'm going to order another one because I love them. Um, let me know. But this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see this very well, but it has a heart pendant. 
this right here outside is my birthstone and on the inside it says family and then it has you can't see the kids but there's two little girls and a little boy and they all have their birthstones in it they stand for Wyatt and Kai and Ava and then there's a little blue stone in the center and that is actually why uh, John's birthstone so my mom gave it to me and she said because you've had such a hard fall I thought you would love this and I have had a hard fall as you guys know um, so it was very sweet of her, and I love it, and I loved it because I could wear it to Chicago and feel like I had my family close to me. Um, my family's the most important thing in the world to me. My tattoo right here says family. I just, it's very important. So it was nice to have this with me while I was gone. So now I'm babbling, and I'm at 13 minutes. These are things that I didn't, I bought myself. Like, I'm not going to call them birthday presents because I bought them myself, and some of these things I've had for a while and are just favorites. But I did some ordering on Sephora uh, early October, and I, I'm happy to be able to finally make this video because now I can take these suckers out. I've been waiting. Um, I bought these sugars. I love the sugar chapsticks. I hate that they're like $22 for one. Like, it just blows my mind. And as you guys know, I love mini. Anything mini. It doesn't matter if it were, like, hemorrhoid cream. If it were in a mini deluxe package, I would buy it. Like, that's how much I love mini packaging. So... Instead, I bought this. It was $36, and you get all four colors, and then plus a lip scrub, and they're in the mini size. So it works out perfect for me because I don't, I mean, you don't, I don't go through these that fast. I don't know. I tend to drink a lot of water, so I don't have very chapped lips. So for me, it's more of for just the look and the smell. But you get a decent amount, and for four of them, $36, great. I get all the colors, and I get them in a cute mini size, and it fits well in my purse. So I bought that. Um... So that was from Sephora. And now I can finally break them out and use them. And then I also bought this um, eyeliner set, which actually some of them are in my... Sorry, some of them are, were in my purse because I took them to Chicago. So I'm going to take them out so you can see which ones I got. Okay, so I got this little um, Sephora's Favorite Eyeliner Kit because I wanted A, some mini eyeliners, and B, I wanted to try them out to see... You know, I wanted to see what they were like, if I liked any new style. This is a good way to try them out without buying a full size. So, I got this Stila one, which is a liquid. I think it's a liquid. No, I lied. It's just a regular eyeliner to twist up. Although this isn't twisting, so I wonder... Oh, great. So, this is broken. I did not realize that when I purchased it. That sucks. Um, but I got the Stila, was one of them that was in it. Broken. Boo. The Sephora liquid eyeliner... Not a huge fan. It, it just, it doesn't stay on my monolids. I don't like it. Um, this little mini Sephora uh, Makeup Forever one, I have not tried that. It's still, I don't know. This Aiko London, I was really excited to try this, uh, this liquid liner. It was not good. It didn't stay on my eyes. These two, though, these two were my favorites out of the whole box. It was worth getting them for these just so that I can know that I can buy a full size and love it. The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This sucker stayed on my eyes and didn't even, like, have any wear to it for, like, two days straight. And I know what you're thinking. Gross, Kelly. Wash your face. But sometimes I don't. And it stayed on really well. So I'm going to buy a full size of that. And then also I got this cute little dual brown and black Urban Decay liner, which I use these regularly. So this is nice because I can put it in my purse. Another makeup favorite of mine that I actually got this in September when Lisa came out. She brought me this. Um, it's the MAC Lip Glass um, lips, uh, Lip Gloss. I'm wearing it right now. I When I saw reviews on it, it was actually supposed to be like a summer I don't know how it's it's called Nymphet. I should probably tell you that it's called Nymphet. It's got this weird like shimmery coral color to it and I don't know all the reviews said it's a summer color. I'm rocking it in the fall. I like the way it looks. I like the way it tastes. I like the way it smells. I like the way it wears. It was very nice. I think these are $14 at the Mac store and I like the size of it. It's not too overbearing. Another favorite of mine right now are these lotions. I've been looking for these hand lotions forever and I guess I could have ordered them online but I just never did. But when I was in Chicago I saw I found some at the store that we went to but they're lotions um, by, by Crabtree and Evelyn. They are so nice and they smell so good. The avocado olive and basil that's what this one is and then this one is a honey citron honey and coriander and both of them smell really really good they go in your hands they don't feel greasy they're very moisturizing and you don't even need that much and I love the packaging so I got two of those oh um Lisa gave me da, 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 da. she didn't like the color and the color works really well for me Baby lips, of course, of course, of course, baby lips. You came out with a whole nother line. These are called the Dr. Rescue lines, and it's a mentholated. 
It smells like menthol. Like, it smells really good. Um, she gave me this color. It's like a nude kind of color. They came out with a whole new line. So now I'm going to have to go search for all these because as you guys know, I love baby lips and I collect them and so does Lisa. So we're just terrible for each other. But there's that. That is really cool for fall as well. Another lip gloss that I thought I would mention that I think I might have mentioned in my last video is the Buxom lip glosses. This is in the color Dolly. I love this color. I don't know what it is. Again, it's in a mini size. You guys know how much I love minis. This is in a mini size. I bought the Sephora favorites of the lip stuff and then this came with it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to buy the mini set that they sell on Sephora because I just really like these colors. The lip gloss lasts forever. Even when they start wearing off, they look really nice. I like the tingly stuff. Some people don't, but this is the tingly kind. I just, it's a beautiful color. I love it. Whenever anybody asks what I'm wearing, it's usually this. I love it. So I'm, I love that. So that's it, a favorite. Moving on because this video is almost 20 minutes long. I'm going to have to edit it down. Uh, nail polishes. You guys know I love nail polishes. My favorites for the fall are Don't Sweater It. I'm actually wearing that color right now. It's just a very, very, very pretty, like, mauve gray. Um, it's by Essie. I love, love, love it. This is my third bottle of this. Um, another color that I really love, I wore this in my videos yesterday and the day before that. Some people asked what color I was wearing. It's OPI's uh, First Date at the Golden Gate. This is a very, very pretty, like, burnt red. It's very, very gorgeous. Um, if you're looking for natural for the fall, I've been really loving Au Naturel by Essie. It's got a very nice natural glimmer to it. It's very nude, but you can build it to be opaque, and it's just very, very gorgeous. Um, another Essie favorite of mine, which these actually, these have been favorites for a long time. I'm just repeating them because they're that good, um, is Skirting the Issue. It's just a very deep, red wine. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. And then Wicked. This is my second bottle of Wicker. Wick, Wicker. Wicked. It's similar to Skirting Issue, but it's a little bit browner and darker, but they're both gorgeous. If I, w if I were to say which one to buy, though, because they're very expensive, I would say go with Skirting the Issue because it's so gorgeous. It's like a really deep red wine. Like a mer Oh, it's just pretty. It's very pretty. The next two nail polishes would have to be the Essie um, Power Clutch. This is kind of similar to Don't Sweater It, which is what I'm wearing, but it's a little bit bluer and a little bit darker. It's very pretty. And then Miss Fancy Pants, which is, again, similar to Don't Sweater It, but a lighter version of it. So that's a very nice one, too. And then these are things that I picked up actually two months ago. I found these on Pinterest, and I am addicted to them. I think I'm done buying more colors of them because I don't really care for the other colors, but they are by Rev Revlon. They're called the Nail Art Moon Candies. I have about four different colors. Um, I have like a brown yellow glitter. They're, okay, so what they are is they're like a base color and then a glitter color, and they look weird separate, but then when you layer them, they just get this weird crazy effect. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. The one that's my favorite is Satellite. I have been addicted to this. If you follow me on Instagram or anything, I will insert some pictures. It makes this really cool golden speckled maroon like opaly color with if you put like a really good hard top on top like um my Sesh Beat top coat oh my gosh it's so pretty I'll insert pictures but I bought two of those because I didn't know if these were limited edition or if they're going to sell out so I bought those they're kind of expensive they last very well though I had such long outgrowth of them um before they started chipping I will say they're kind of a bitch to take off so I, I kind of got to make sacrifices, but they're really gorgeous. I tried the blue one. The blue one is pretty. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's pretty. I have not tried this gray one or the brown and yellow one. I'm excited to try those, but I will try those later on. Um, but yeah, so those are a favorite of mine. This is so long. I think we're winding down. This is my last birthday present that I got this month. Um, my iPhone 5S and then this case. It's just like a frosted back case in blue. If you want to know how I feel about the 5S, if you have the 5, I don't think there's any reason to be like lusting over the 5S. I think the 5 is great phone. Um, 
I loved my 5, the 5S. The only difference is that the camera's better, and then you have like this fingerprint touch, like it just opens up your screen. That's kind of cool, but not cool enough for the extra money. Um, I do love the 5S, I do, I'm glad I have it, but again, I would have been happy sticking with my 5, I think. Um, I'm not sure though, I've only had it for two weeks, so we will see. But this is a present from my husband, because we sold my 5 and bought this and actually made money off of it. So, um, last things that are my favorites would have to be food for the fall. So Kelly, I'm like opening up this thing, made some scotch roos. This is my second pan in a week, and this is how much is gone. Granted, some people ate some, but oh my god, if you're not familiar with scotch roos, they're a Rice Krispie treat with a butterscotch chocolate topping that's just delicious. They are super unhealthy for you. Like the ingredients are a cup of light corn syrup, a cup of sugar, a cup of peanut butter, and Rice Krispies. And then on top is a cup of milk chocolate chips, although I used a cup and a half, and a cup or a cup and a half of butterscotch chips. Super unhealthy, so good though. And then the last fall favorites I will insert pictures of. One of them is the, um, two of them are warmers. That very very pretty if you want to know more about Scentsy feel free to click the link below um, I sell it and then the Scentsy scents which I don't have on me autumn sunset oh it smells so good it's all cinnamony and folly and that's been a favorite of mine and then actually Yankee Candles um, Macintosh wax bricks have been my favorite so that is it I'm sorry this was so scattered the lighting was terrible I should really use my regular camera but it just is such a pain to use but I will try to edit this down so it's not very long upcoming videos question and answers video between me and my husband you guys left some questions on my Facebook fan page which we will answer for you and um I don't know what else whatever I feel like but I will let you guys go so I'll talk to you guys all later